The IRS has a backlog of nearly 13 million unprocessed tax returns and over 26 million tax returns that are waiting, needing further IRS action. IRS phone lines additionally are at an all-time customer service low, resulting in extreme difficulty for those trying to call in to resolve delayed tax return issues. By law, the agency has 45 days to process a tax refund. The agency says it gets about 90% of refunds issued within three weeks. The number of delayed returns has skyrocketed during the pandemic as the IRS has shut facilities to divert resources and administer benefits like the child tax credit. But for those who do experience a delayed refund due to no fault of their own, the refund amount will be more as it will receive interest at an interest rate which was just increased. The IRS has announced that it will start paying 5% in guaranteed interest to individuals with delayed tax returns beginning in July. This is a 1% increase up from the last rate increase. The federal government regularly spends billions of dollars in interest on delayed returns, previously paying out almost $14 billion in refund interest in the last seven fiscal years, according to a Government Accountability Office report published in April. So for those of you who are experiencing a delay in your refund beyond the 45-day processing limit, please make sure that you receive the interest that should be paid out to you from the IRS.